Swati Krupp and welcome to Phuket Extra and thanks for watching Phuket Extra Extra over the weekend. We'll choose the top five stories from each week and post it each Saturday morning. That's Phuket Extra Extra to today's main stories. And authorities are investigating the aftermath of an earthquake that rattled the island last night, just before midnight. Calls came in from all over the region to the Bureau of Seismology. The earthquake registered magnitude 6.2 and was centred around 446 kilometres west of Phuket, in the same region as the epicentre of the earthquake that caused the 2004 tsunami. There was no tsunami alert. Numbers are coming in from poll booths in Myanmar following yesterday's historic election. Myanmar's opposition NLD led by Aung San Suu Kyi could be set to pull in as much as 80 or 90 per cent of the votes according to an exit poll carried out by a local news organisation yesterday. The NLD needs 67 per cent of the total vote to form a government but the military has altered the constitution to prevent Aung San Suu Kyi from taking office. Social media was up in arms yesterday when visitors to Central Festival East snapped photos of exotic animals on display to the public, most of the time being able to handle them and take selfies. Most notably there was a red fox lying in a cage and it was for sale for 43,000 baht to buy and take home. Red foxes are not native to Thailand and could wreak havoc to the local fauna. They're certainly not suitable as a domestic pet. Central Festival management were alerted and checked with the operator of the exotic animal show who assured them the animals were all legally imported into Thailand. And the BIS Soccer Sevens were washed out over the weekend. The football round robin series with schools from around the region kicked off on Friday at BIS Phuket but showers on Saturday made the pitches a muddy lake which simply became unsafe to play on. Well, it sort of looked like fun though. Coming up next, the Kra Isthmus Canal looks set for a postponement. The water will be off in Phuket Town. A recycling initiative up at Nyang and a little bit of romance to start your week. Get out your tissues next on Phuket Extra. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Thailand's Kra Isthmus Canal project is unlikely to be implemented anytime soon because of the challenges that it would cause to China and Singapore as well as others that trade with them. This according to the Director General of the Department of Consular Affairs. He says that if the canal project to link the Gulf of Thailand with the Andaman Sea was implemented it would affect the status quo of regional security and economic arrangements. The canal aims to cut through the narrowest section of the Malay Peninsula just north of Phuket. The canal would cut shipping trade times drastically from east to west but would cut Singapore out of the picture and impact its economy. The Phuket City Municipality Waterworks Authority is shutting off water supply in various parts of Phuket town tonight to conduct repairs. Water supply will be shut off from 9pm until 1am tomorrow, impacting residents and businesses along 14 major roads. You can see a full list of the roads affected at thephuketnews.com. The Green Nyang Group kicked off their recycle program with the installation of three recycle bins. Big thanks to students from Gecko Community School and Phuket International Academy, plus employees from the Dewa Resort. Two additional bins are being installed in the following few weeks. Magic eye signs are also being placed throughout the Nyang Beach area to direct people to the nearest bin. And finishing with two different wedding proposals today, firstly Ploy put on quite a show for his girlfriend in asking her hand in marriage. Minions, a bit of bad choreography and lots of signs convinced Araya to say yes. I just think he should have dispensed with all the signs and just asked her himself. Then there's this one where Posh and Arm were attending the wedding of their friends but Posh took on the opportunity to surprise his boyfriend Arm with a proposal of his own. Thailand doesn't currently recognise same-sex marriages. Good luck to all the couples and time to check today's weather. 
An easterly wind flow is the main influence on Phuket's weather today and for the next few days. Very light winds will persist over the island, allowing some local afternoon thunderstorms to develop. Thanks for watching Phuket Extra today. Tomorrow we're going to try, try and find out exactly what's happening on the beaches. There's a lot of confusion still remaining with contradicting reports in local media. Hopefully we can bring some clarity to the matter, but I sort of doubt it. Thanks for watching. This is the Phuket News. This is Novosti Phuketa. This is Puji Dao Xinwen, the new Chinese language newspaper for Phuket. Available at 600 locations around Phuket. Your island, your newspapers.